Hello, today I will tell you about remote debugging using CephSharp. We need to create and configure a WPF solution with CephSharp. First of all, we need to create a project, then add the CephSharp WPF Nugget package and create the x64 or x86 configuration for it. You can find detailed instructions in our previous tutorials. Check out the links under this video. Now let's mark up the main window. So define the name of the root grid, and we need to insert two browser instances into the main window. So let's create two columns in the root grid. Now let's move on to implementing the main window behavior. Create two fields in the main window class for both left and right browsers. After the window initialization, create a new instance of the Ceph Settings class. Then set the value of the remote debugging port property to 8088. Call the Ceph Initialize method and pass the created settings instance as its argument. Initialize the left browser field with the new instance of the Chromium web browser. Add this field to the root grid. Set the grid column index of the browser using the grid column index dependency property. Then repeat the previous three steps for the right browser field, but change the value of the grid column index property. Create the frame load end event handler for the left browser. Set the address property value for the left browser. Inside the frame load end event handler, set the address property of the right browser to localhost 8088. You need to use the dispatcher because the frame load event occurs inside the non UI thread. Now you can build and launch your application. Thanks for watching.